Hello, this is Deb Joyce Meek from Delight of My Art. Today we are doing the Sweet and Simple card class for September 2023. And we're using this beautiful suite here, Autumn Leaves. And I can't wait to show you all of these cards. You're going to love them. Let me go ahead and uh, say that if you place an order in my online store with this host code right here, you will get the packet with all of the preparations for all of these six cards mailed to you for free with an order uh, online of $35 or more, and that would qualify you for that free packet. Or you can just follow along these directions if you already own this set, or um, I will be also emailing the PDF tutorial for anybody that places an order. Um, if you just wanna follow along, you can just follow along the video. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. All right, let's go ahead and look at some of these cards here. I'll get this out of the way. So the first card that we're going to make is this one with four different panels. I know this paper has been so incredibly popular, and so I wanted to be able to make sure that you guys were able to play with it. I have enough to make uh, quite a number of packets here if we can do that. And you have, you do have a time limit. I think I'll offer this through the 3rd of October. So if you place an order in my online store from now until the 3rd, with that host code, you can still get this. But um, this paper will come back in stock pretty shortly. And I, I forget the exact date. It is mid-October, though, I think. But it's so beautiful. And it's gone out of stock twice now, I think. So pretty popular. It's got all this copper foiling on one side and then realistic, cool images on the other. So let's go ahead and put this card together. I'll just put this over here for a reference. And all of your pieces will come pre-done just like this. So this, I think, was a little bit of an easier um, following directions than some of my other classes, too. I tried to um, make it a little bit more simple to put together. Sometimes I get excited and I have all these tiny little pieces, so I'll still have some pieces, but I think you'll find that this one's pretty easy. Okay, so we have two of these pieces. These are five, let's see, five and a quarter by four. There are two of these, one for the inside and one for the front. And these little squares here are all the same at one and seven eighths wide by two and a half tall. And so these are the four patterns that I picked out for this one. Although this pack is so full of beautiful papers, you could go with any of those. All right, so first off, let's go ahead and just glue this front on the front of this piece. And this is a copper clay base. I picked a bunch of colors that just went with the paper. You can just see on the back of the paper pack, you just read off the color names and know which color card stocks will go perfectly with those, right? So we're just gonna glue these on. They should have, you know what, before we put glue on, I do like to do this and just kind of lay them out to make sure it all fits in there before we start gluing on. So once they're all set, then I can just pick up one at a time and glue them on. There's one. I hope everybody's fall is going well. I can't believe it's almost October. I'm not sure where September went. I feel like it should be still the middle of summer. <laughs> if anybody else feels like it's flying by, let me know. We're smack in the middle of all the kids' sports right now. So we've got soccer games galore and cross-country racing, and all sorts of things going on. Although I'm not ready for all of that to stop either because that means that the snow is here. This paper doesn't really have an up and a down, so I'm not sure why I'm turning that around. All right, and then we've got this beautiful green pattern here. And that just goes right there. The only stamping on this one is on this little label. And that again comes in that, I think I only used a couple of dies that weren't even in here, but 
there's two, three, actually three little labels that come in this die set too. It's a wonderful bundle. I love all of these little things. You'll see I used this sprig right here for the stick kind of in the background. It's supposed to be the inside of this leaf right here, like the veins of it, but I kind of used it as a twig instead. So there's a different way to use that piece. All right, let's go ahead and find that stamp. Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. These are the stamped ink colors, by the way, that you'll need for this whole class. We have Moody Mauve, Copper Clay, Mossy Meadow, and Pretty Peacock. Those are the only four colors that you'll need. So I'll get out my Copper Clay. And we'll just stamp that one. Just like that. All right, this is for the inside. Okay, so now what I like to do when I have pieces behind a label, I take out my seal. I'm not even sure where my regular seal is, but I've got a seal plus here. And I just make a little line here and then I can easily stick down, you know, my pieces. So I'll just stick that there. Looks like we've got this green one here. Stick that up here, and I'm going to kind of hover my label here to see where these might poke out at as I'm placing these. It helps to know where that's sitting. So there's those, and then we can just add this with some dimensionals. See how quick and easy this one was? All of the cards this month are quick and easy, successful cards. <laughs> Just really like this paper just made it super easy. All right, so we've got the label here that just goes smack in the middle. And then we add this tiny little copper leaf just kind of hovering at the bottom here. Just like it fell and its leaves are falling. So that's it. That's it. That's the card right there. Oops, except for this bow. So you've got this linen thread. And we're going to take it and fold it in half. And I included all your ribbons this time. And we don't even have any embellishments on these cards because I felt like the paper was its own beautiful accents. I felt like it didn't really need any. You're welcome to add some, but I felt like it didn't even need it. All right. Just make a nice double bow. And we'll just have to cut off that. This, this single loop down here to be a double tail. I can just pinch that there. <laughs> All right, so there's our double bow. That'll just look cute right up there. I'm gonna make my right loop just a hair smaller. Who else fusses with their bows when they're making stuff? Just so they're just so, right? All right, where did my blue dots go? Here they are. So I'll find my hope oh, on the, this side this time. Here's my glue dots and we'll just pop that on there. And that card is done except for the inside. I actually didn't do the inside of my other one. So we're gonna have to figure out what we wanna do with those. So we have the envelope and the inside and we want to decorate those too. So let's see, we were using this ink pad and now I'll have to get out the stamp set because I didn't do the insides. You know what would be cute in here? Let's do this one right here. Let's do this leaf. Oops. Have I been on there the whole time? All right. Let's go ahead and add this little leaf here. On a block. And I'm just going to put that maybe down on in the corner. And my ink pad is too juicy, so I'm going to grab a piece of paper and stamp off. And we're going to do my trick that I do every time because I know that my ink pads, whoops, my ink pads are too juicy. I'm just going to push that ink in there. This is just a plastic spoon. I have a couple of these in my stamp room. And with these 
stamps that have all of these little dots on here that are supposed to stamp in little tones, different tones in one go. Um, I find that if your ink pad is too juicy or if you just bought it, it's, they, they really pack the ink in there and get you your money's worth, right? That's what we want, but we don't want it to be too, you see the difference here? This one was after I pushed it in and that was before, so this is much better. All right, so we're just gonna do that. Then we can write whatever we want on the inside, but it's still decorated, right? And we'll do the same on the envelope, beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and add that one. And then we can move on to the next card. We'll get my ugly scrap paper out of the way and add this to the inside. All right, so that's card number one. Usually in our, our monthly classes, we have three different cards and you make two of each. But I had so much of this fun paper I needed you to look at, I, I don't know if I used all of the designs, but very nearly all of the designs. So we have six different ones this time. So here's card number one and you do have five more coming. So usually we just show you three and you'll make two of each. So there's number one. Moving on, we have this beautiful card with the pretty peacock base. Isn't that pretty? So let's go ahead and get all the pieces out for this one. All right, so this just popped out. All right, so we've got some copper clay ribbon. We've got all of our pieces here in the envelope. We'll burnish our card base. I score those for you, but you'll have to do the crease your fold, right? All right, so here is for the front. We're gonna be stamping on this piece, the pretty cute peacock piece and we're not stamping on this piece and then this one will go on the inside again these are both let's see make sure I've got my notes here these are both the five and a quarter by four the DSP piece right here is one inch by five and a quarter tall and then we have this little vanilla tag that again is cut with those same dies and I've got a seven inches of ribbon here. So we've also got some of this beautiful copper, this paper, and this one's also out of stock at the moment, but it is coming back. Isn't that so gorgeous? You, you need to have this class just to be able to play with this while you wait for it to come back in stock, right? <laughs> so go ahead and place an order in my store here so you can get it. All right, so let's go ahead. I can need my scrap paper out again. I should have had a piece of paper over here. Oh, well, that's okay. So we're going to get our piece here. We'll just push all these pieces to the side here. And we need our big leaf. Ooh, those stuck together. So this big, beautiful leaf. And we need our pretty peacock ink pad. So again, if this is too juicy, I will just get another spoon out. But I think this one's not juicy too much anymore. In fact, it's not inking up all the way. So I'm what I'm going to do is turn this upside down and just turn this over and ink it like that so I can see and make sure because this is a larger image sometimes if you have a larger image it's a little bit easier to ink it up that way okay so we just need to randomly stamp this all over this piece all right so there's one we'll go ahead and ink that back up again a couple of times here And again, our leaves are starting to change and I'm thinking about all the leaves I might have to rake up soon. <laughs> Not looking forward to that. I like fall. I like apples. We just went to an apple orchard. That was fun. I like fall, but I, I don't really care for winter. Here I am in Michigan. Isn't that silly? But our, our summers are beautiful. We get high 80s. Our falls and our springs are beautiful. We, we get all the seasons, that's for sure. I can't complain too much. And the last couple winters haven't been too bad either. As long as I can see the sky sometimes, 
a blue sky. <laughs> All right, so let's scoop this up. We'll just stamp a few more down here, fill in our little gap right here, and we'll be good. All right, what about this tip right there? Okay, that looks pretty good. It's in the background. It doesn't need to be perfect. So we have that. We don't need this ink pad. Actually, since we have it out and we have this one, let's put this on the inside piece and the envelope, right? So, in fact, maybe I'll do... Should I stamp off? Okay, we can't do it that way. we got to do it this way, right? What if we stamped off and then stamped right in the middle here and we'll just write right over top of that <laughs> if this doesn't work we'll just turn this piece over right <laughs> i'm gonna press it real good oh that's pretty okay so that's our inside piece and you just write right on top of that that's actually really nice okay so that will go on the inside here's our stamped piece and now let's do the envelope and then I can take my scrap paper away. So we're gonna go off the edge on the envelope here. Again, Deb, turn it over and ink it up properly. Come on. Okay, there we go. And I'm just gonna kind of put this off the edge there just like that. Beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and put this ink pad away. It looks like we're gonna have to get out the copper clay again for this little tiny label, but we can get rid of this ugly thing. Okay, so the sentiment we need today is with a grateful heart, and that's this one right there. And I'm just gonna make sure my with a is straight with the top of the label because this is kind of a scripty one and it's kind of wiggly, but the with a is, um, going to be the straightest part that you'll notice if that part's crooked. So that's what I'm going to line up with the top of my label piece here. And that seemed to work out pretty good. Okay, so let's get all of our little pieces back in here. Here's our stuff. And oh, here's my, my card base. Okay, so on this piece, we're going to glue on our DSP and then wrap this with the ribbon before we put it on the front of the card because we want this to wrap to the back here. So let's go ahead and do that part. Isn't this beautiful? Oh my goodness. I can't wait for this to be back in stock so you guys can get a whole pack yourself because you're going to want it. Now, let me, you're going to have to jump on it. I'll let you know when it's back in stock, but be quick, okay? All right. There's that. And again, whoo, look at that. I'm not even straight. I'm going too fast. There's the liquid glue for you. All right, I just need to wait five seconds for it to dry. And we'll get our seal back out. And right along that edge there. We're going to place our ribbon and wrap it to hide that steam. In fact, I can probably show a little bit more of this pretty DSP. So we're just gonna go over a little bit more. Then we can show off a little bit more of that. Like so. And now that that's on there, that's a little too long. Oh, well, that's okay. I'm going to add a little bit more in the middle here so it's not quite flapping around as much. There, that's a little bit more secure. Now we can, I'm going to trim this off. It's kind of bulky back there. I must have given you plenty of ribbon there. And now we'll just add that to the front. I have another glue bottle over here. This one's about gone. We'll see how long it lasts. All right, we're gonna put that centered on the front there. And we have these darling little leaves here and we're gonna add this with some dimensionals. There's my dimensionals. We'll put two on there. 
pan looks like these are just flat. So I'm just going to add a little bit of seal on the back so that they are easy to put down. And without taking the backing off, I'm just going to place this here so I know where to place my little leaves. So we've got the one here. And we've got this one kind of going over the ribbon. You can get creative with where you put your stuff, right? You don't have to follow along with what I do. Sometimes people get creative in my classes and I'm like, oh my goodness, I never thought of that. That's so cool. So yeah, feel free to go off grid, but I got directions in case you just want to craft without thinking. Sometimes I want to do that. <laughs> All right, so there is our second card and we have already done the inside. So let's go ahead and glue that in. Isn't that fun? All right, come on, glue. You can do it. All right. Okay, there is card number two. So card number three, let's put this one off to the side now to kind of clear our spots as we go. Okay, card number three. This is another one that shows off so many of the patterns. And as you're putting it down, you can look at the other side of all of these pieces. So here's one, this one's using the deckled circles. So I just got that one in the mail, it's super fun. So many different um, sizes on that one. Oh, I've got to show it to you. Hang on. You just have to see how big it is. It's just here on the floor. If I can open the container there. Okay. Look how many circles you get. There's, they're huge. Look how big this is. So I've got an idea to use this biggest one. So stay tuned for more videos. But look at how many you get. 14. I put it up here. 14 sizes down to this tiny little one inchy thing. Uh, all the way up to, I think this is six inches. So pretty cool. Um, so this one, these were using, I should probably tell you, which size is it? The fourth biggest and the, th or, I'm sorry, yeah, the fourth smallest and the third smallest. So leaving two in the middle, we used the next two there with the vanilla and the mossy meadow. And then, of course, we also are using the vanilla here. Two of those again, five and a quarter by four. And all of the DSP pieces are one inch by three and three quarters. So here's our vanilla envelope, vanilla envelopes all around. This is a vanilla based paper. We'll put that in this corner again. Here we go. And we'll go ahead and furnish our fold here of Mossy Meadow. You guys enjoying this class? Let me know in the comments whether you brought this sweet or not. Okay, so we've got all of these pieces here. So again, this one just goes straight on here and we don't have to do anything to it. It can just go straight on. Come on. I should probably eat some apples after this video because we got so many apples at the apple orchard. They were delicious. New varieties I'd not heard of. What was it? Cosmic Crisp. That was really good. I probably filled up a quarter of my bag with Cosmic Crisp. So, and Snow Sweets. I hadn't heard of that one either. It was really, really yummy. Okay, we might need to move on. Oh, maybe not. I was going to say we might need to move on to the new glue, but maybe not. Okay, once you get this first piece on, I know I like to put them all on there, but if you have an even border on the sides and the top, you should be able to butt all of the other ones up against each other because you can see there's no gaps between any of these. So you'll just line them all up. So we're going to start with this pretty white one. And they should all be facing the right way, but... Here's one that has trees and some leaves on the ground. I'm not sure which way it goes. I think it's this way. I think the yellow is at the bottom, but it doesn't really matter. Look at this backside. Oh. Okay, I'm just gonna get the next glue because I don't wanna struggle with that on camera. That's, that's not nice. This one, I can feel it's really full. 
All right. So that's just going to butt right up against there. And if you use that liquid glue and just a thin little line, you'll be able to push that right into place. See how thin you can get this glue? Can you see that line? It's real thin. So if you're struggling with liquid glue, it might be because you're using too much. Look at this one, it's a sweater, like a sweater material. And then on the back, it's pretty peacock. Oh my goodness, so cool. So we'll just push that into place too. And this should have the perfect amount of space for this one. Looks good to me. I think this piece is actually the back side of this one. All right, so we've got all those pieces. Then we can stamp on our little deckled circle here. Autumn teaches us. We already stamped this one on the other card. We should have done these two together, huh? Autumn teaches us that change can be beautiful. I felt like that was a fitting sentiment for all of these ones that have all of the different patterns on there. Like autumn is changing. You can see all the different colors and everything. So I thought that was a cute one. We just glue that one right on the front there. Oh, before I do that, look at what I did. I tucked this one inside there. So before I do that, we'll just, just add some seal at the corner here and just have that kind of poking out. It doesn't really matter. You can have it tucking from the backside also, but I don't know. I just thought that was kind of fun having it between the layers. And then this can stick. This is just a, I don't know, four inches of ribbon or something. So this is just going to stick behind the whole thing. So again, if you put your seal on the back there and put it, face it forward, you'll be able to just kind of place that as you want it. I think I'm going to have it kind of popping out, I don't know, right there or something. That looks good. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so there's that one. And add some dimensionals. I'll just kind of overlap my ribbon here. That will help it to stay put on the back there. And I'll just add, that's not an even placement, but that's okay. Nobody's going to see that. Okay, so here is card number three. I'm just gonna center that on this sweater one. Oh, we've got to do the inside and the envelope still though. Okay, again, I didn't do it on my sample. So what are we gonna do on the inside? Hmm, where's my stamp set? Let's go ahead and do maybe, maybe one of these things. Let's do this little twiggishy thing. That might be fun. Uh, if I can find a block for that. Or maybe we should just use this one again. Oh, I've already changed it. <laughs> All right, so this is just gonna be, oh, I didn't put it in there yet. Just kind of like a, just like that. Sure. All right, so there we've got our envelope and our inside. We'll add our inside and then this card is done. Losing all of our pieces here. All right, get it together. That's the empty one. Here it is. I'm gonna put that empty one farther away so I don't accidentally grab it. I'll try to get more glue out of it. I think I can, but not on camera, right? Okay, so there is card number three. Beautiful coppery silver foil, coppery foil, not silver. 
And okay, there's that one. Here's our samples from before. Moving on to card number four. This one is Marvelous Mauve with kind of a tag image there. Again, we're using that fun coppery oxidized copper specialty paper there. And we're using some of that ribbon that comes with the suite. I think that's also unorderable at the moment and you'll get a little piece. So let's go ahead and put this one together. Get out all the pieces. Again, all of these will be prepared for you, but I'll go over the measurements for you. Again, we've got two vanilla pieces, four inches by five and a quarter. This one is embossed with, well, it's hard to see, isn't it? Can I tip it so that you can see it? It's the Leaf Fall 3D embossing folder. Let's see if I can't shine a light. I've got a black light here. I don't know if this is going to help at all. Let's see. <laughs> can you see any of that? It's really, hmm. okay. Well, there we go. It's really cool in person. It's really hard to show on the camera. There we go. We've got all this fun leafy texture on there. So that's going to go on the front. And the plain one goes on the inside. And we've got a piece here that's, um, let's see, this one is three and a quarter by two and a quarter because this one is three by two. That way you get a lot out of one piece of six by six. This paper is six by six paper. And we've got this little vanilla tag here. We've got a piece of linen thread. We've got our oxidized copper leaf and a little piece of copper ribbon. So let's go ahead and put this one together. Burnish our fold. The fold line will go on the left, so this card will open like this. So this piece just goes straight on there. Like so. And I have my, there's a an empty space where the leaves are not. I have my empty space up here on the right. No, no, you can't probably see that anymore again. But um, it doesn't matter. You could have it down here or up there. It'll look cool either way. I've got flowing leaves kind of like this, but they could be flowing like this. Who knows if there's a strong wind. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and glue on our DSP to this mauve panel. Isn't this beautiful? Some of these are just gorgeous. This looks like elegant tile. That's so pretty. And it's got that foil in it. Is it shining? Beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp on our little tag. I did it in two colors because these are actually two different stamps. It says, I'm thankful for all you do. So the I'm thankful is in Pretty Peacock. And for all you do is in the mauve. So actually, I think this is the only thing that we're stamping in mauve. So if you don't have that one, don't worry. You can just stamp the whole thing in peacock. Um, but it is a cool color. All right, so let's go ahead and stamp our thankful part. I'm going to put this just up of center. And then we'll go ahead and do the mauve. Moody mauve for all you do. I'm gonna to try to avoid this little tail from the F, but tuck it kind of between the, the two center words, all and you. There, that looks good. So here's our cute little tag. And now we can just put this little copper ribbon through the hole that's already there. Maybe. Just poke the pokey end in there. It should go through. There we go. And you're just gonna fold that in there and we're gonna tie it just with a knot. This is just a double knot and I just cut it 
just to hold it there. So it's going to be the simplest to do. You could you could make this a bow, I guess, but I don't want to work that hard. So, <laughs> all right, I'm just going to tie that in a knot, and then tie it in a knot again. I didn't even do it tight. It's just there so that it doesn't fall out. If you do it tight, it'll kind of crunch the ribbon. So I'll just did it kind of loose. And then I just cut it off so it's got little tails, not too big. And then we'll stick our cute little leaf kind of behind that. Oh my goodness, it's so foily. So pretty. Okay, I think, yeah, this piece is on dimensionals also. Sometimes I forget what I have popped up and what I haven't. So this one is, I'm going to put five on there because I don't like my stuff to fall in as it goes through the mail. Now it's nice and supported. By the way, if you're placing an order, make sure you put some dimensionals and some green glue and all that on there and some envelopes. I'm gonna get get your basics too. All right, and your white paper, right? Is that centered? I think so. And we'll get our seal again and just place it right at the tip here so we can put our beautiful copper leaf right there. And then this goes on dimensionals also because we're going to be extra today, extra dimensionally. <laughs> right there. Okay. Let's get it under control here. Here is our cutie cute little card. Right there, and now we have to do the inside and the envelope because we must. So what do we want to do here? Did we do any, we did do this leaf already. This is a nice big leaf. We've got those leaves in the background. We already stamped it in peacock and there is peacock in this card. Let's do it again. So we may as well use the same stamps in the same inks, right? While you have them open and you're playing with it. Get my scrap paper out too. I don't want to get it on my desk. Okay, so we've got this one. Same thing. Should we do something different on the inside? Let's just do it in the corner, just like that again. Then it's different than the other card. Do it like, yeah, I still like it like this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So there's the inside of this one. I know it's a little bold. That's okay. That looks good. All right. Let's put that ink away. We'll add this to the inside. And we're done with this card. That is card number four. Beautiful. That one goes there. This one goes here. And now we're moving on to card number five. This is one of my favorites, actually. It's got, we cut the pumpkin paper into quarters. So this is a three by three piece. And the front of this card I have embossed for you with this tiling. Let's see, what is this called? Um, I've got the embossing folder here. I think this is part of this suite too. Distressed Tile 3D. And it's so pretty. And it's, it's, some of it is distressed. So it's not as, you know, it's not a perfect tile. It's kind of got like, like it's crumbling a little bit. So it's a really cool background. And when the front of the card is embossed, you can see it from the inside when you open the card, which is really cool. And it saves you paper and it's not as thick going through the mail. So I thought that was really neat. I just put it, you know, in like that 
and then I had to run it through my machine this way. I know we're supposed to go seam first, but I was just real careful to uh, put that in there. So that's what I did to get that front embossed. And let's go ahead and get out our pieces for this one. So we've got a thick, very vanilla. It's already embossed. It's so pretty. Look at that. All right, so we can go ahead and burnish that. Now I would make sure to push the edges together. I like to butt it up against my fingernails here and then press that. I have already scored it, but this, when you emboss things, they kind of shrink a little bit because all of that paper is going in, you know, dips and folds and all that. So let me push it from the back too, because that part's flat. So there's our front and we've got some pieces here. And this is a fun technique I wanted to show you. So yes, you see I have some ribbon here. Again, this is, well, there goes the dog. Here's some ribbon and it came with the copper foil. It comes in a combo pack, but you'll notice on this card, it's like just fr uh, fronds. <laughs> some just kind of frayed like that. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. It's kind of a cool technique. Okay, so again, this piece is three and a quarter by three and a quarter. This piece is three by three and we've got our nice little label here let's go ahead and get the stamping out of the way this one says i'm thankful again we did that before in this same color but this is a different sentence underneath i'm thankful to have you as a friend so is this right yes so it's this one and this one so we'll go ahead and get that one out of the way so like that, and this one, and then we can put this, stamp that away. Let's go ahead and glue our piece here together. Oh. All right, so on here, just like so. And then we'll add, the well, kids are home from school. That's what that noise is. The dog is having a, a fun time there. I'll add this with dimensionals. And then we'll go ahead and show you what to do with that ribbon. Well, we got some singing going on over here. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and add this to the front here. I don't know if you can hear her singing in the background. <laughs> I guess she's happy to be home from the school. All right, I'll add this to the front and I'm gonna have an even border on the left and the right and the top. And then with this ribbon, I've given you about almost the width of here, but we're gonna take the middle, the middle of it, and you're just gonna start to unravel it. If it gets stuck, I have uh, another option to do, but look, mine's getting stuck. So I did this one time and it was real smooth and just kind of, you know, un unfrayed and see now it's just getting stuck. So if it does that for you, I have a fix. Number one, try it from the other side. And if it still gets stuck, I've got another. Oh, look how smooth this one is. Okay, see, I've got some things unraveling. This reminds me of an Aladdin when the carpet's unraveling, right? Look at that, isn't that cool? We've got all these strands here. If it gets stuck for you, cut the whole ribbon in half the long ways and then start pulling out the strands from the side. So, but this is an also an easy way. So either way, um, it should work. All right, so if we, I'm gonna grab onto my strands now. I did not use all of these. I used maybe a third. So you've got more to play with. So we'll go ahead and just keep unraveling till that's all the way done. Look at that, we've got all these pieces. Okay, so I'm just gonna take, I don't know, this many. And now they're getting stuck to me. I've got sticky fingers or something. Okay, so on the back here, Again, we will just run some adhesive and stick that on there. 
And if they end up not getting lined up, if they're a little wonky, it's okay. You can trim the ends. If you don't have enough adhesive like me, you can just add some more. Or you don't need all the pieces that you have on there. Here, we'll just add some more on top. I don't know. So we've got some strands. And if some are a little long, you can just kind of trim them. But it should look a little messy, right? Like fall. I feel like this is kind of scarecrow looking. All right, I don't like this one long one. So there, we'll just trim that. And you can just throw this piece away. We don't need any of that. Unless you can think of something. Maybe we could fill a basket with, <laughs> with all this stuff. I'm just going to throw it out. But if you find a use for it, let me know. All right, if it will unstick to my fingers. Now we'll just add this with dimensionals and that's it. Super easy on that one. I might add one more just to kind of secure all those pieces there. Isn't that fun? Let me know if you've done that before. I did show another ribbon that we have, the iridescent ribbon, and that one was so pretty. So if you saw that on my Facebook page. All right, looks like they're a little longer on this side than this side, so I wonder if I can yank any, probably not, or I'll just kind of trim these off just a smidge. There, now we just have fur on the front, okay. Okay, so, <laughs> it's not too messy, isn't that fun? So we've got all these little fronds there and that is the front of the card. So we can still it, um, stamp the envelope and the inside, right? So let's go ahead and do that. We did not use, which stamps did we use? Look at my, my stamp or my stamp set. I've got all the pieces that I've played with already in here so that if I ever take this out and wanna use it, I've got all these pieces already die cut right where I would want to use them, right? Let's use this piece, this cute little double leaf. That's this one right here. And what color do we do? Should we do that in the peacock again? Let's do it in peacock. I'll just use this one. <laughs> the singing stopped. She must have realized I was on a video. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and add this one here and this one on the inside. I might put this in the upper corner. What do you think? That's kind of fun. It'll be different. All right, so there's our card for number five. We've got one more and this one's a fun fold because I couldn't help myself. All right, so here's this one and we've got one more. So here is the last card. And it opens like this. What I did was just cut off the bottom piece and then just turned it to fit on the front here. So nice and easy fun fold, but it is fun, right? It's always fun to do a fun fold. So if you like fun folds, you can join me every Wednesday for our mystery stamping. So here we've got the front. It is early espresso. It's 11 inches by four and a quarter. And then I cut this piece off at two and three quarters. So this piece right here is two and three quarters by four and a quarter, the brown one. And I'll get that out here. I already cut it for you and I already scored it. So it's already done. But if you wanted to recreate this card at home, then you can do that. So we'll go ahead and store that piece. It's, it's straight in the middle of the front like this, right? And then that piece that I cut off here is just gonna go like this. So here's all of our pieces. Again, we get an envelope with that. So this piece right here is actually smaller than I normally do. This is five inches by three and three quarters because when it goes in here, it's got a slightly bigger border around the outside. And then when this goes on the front, you'll just make sure that this border is even also. And we've got these two pieces. This is a mossy meadow and some DSP. This is the other tiling one. The other one was kind of more mauve and this one's got more peacock and the green in there. This is the back of the 
like a leather sofa or something. I haven't found a use for this pattern. If you have, let me know. I think I saw one sample using this one and it was it was pretty cute, but I don't know. This this side has me stumped, but this side's so pretty, I haven't really had to worry about it. Um, this piece of mossy meadow is four inches by two and a half, and the DSP is three and three quarters by two and a quarter. And we've got another piece of vanilla. This one is three and three quarters. No, I'm sorry. Two and a half by four. Two and a half by four. This is for the front right there. Okay. I think I got it all. And we've got all these little pieces. So we've got a big mossy meadow leaf and we've got a copper clay maple leaf and we've got the oxidized peacock little uh, oak leaf and then a tiny little oxidized coppery little leaf. All right, let's go ahead and put this together. So the only stamping again on this one is with a grateful heart. And where did that one go? Oh, it's over here. And this one is in copper clay. And we're just stamping on this bigger piece actually. Usually I stamp on a small sentiment or a, a, a label or something, but this one, all right. Again, we're gonna line up that with a, with that top, the top of that piece there. And not all the way at the top, but just kind of down just a little ways. All right, so that is it for now for that one. And now we just get to glue some pieces on. So the vanilla goes on the, early espresso and the DSP goes on the green. So let's just go ahead and add those. Goodbye couch cushions. And then we'll put this piece on here. Okay. So this is pretty easy. This piece is just gonna go straight on there on that top flap. It fits perfectly with a little border. And then this piece, you're gonna make sure you only put glue on the top half of the backside because you don't wanna glue this whole flap shut. You want this to open. So I'm gonna pinch, just kinda of hold it and just add glue to the top. In fact, I'm going to go a little bit north of top here and make a little rectangle there. And then on this piece, I'm going to add glue just to the bottom of my flap so I know that there's enough adhesive just where I need it. Okay, and actually before I do that, I'm going to line up my inside piece so that that's even so I know exactly where to put this one. Okay. Just like this, I'm going to make sure my this side is straight with all these other pieces here. I want to do a little bit over this way, maybe. Oh, my this is scooted, that's why. Okay, I think it looks good. All right, so that's where it's going right now. And oh, we do have to stamp this, the veins on this leaf in Mossy Meadow. So I'll get my scrap paper out one more time here and put this off to the side so I don't stamp on it. And we just wanna line up the center line with the bottom pokey part there and just line this up as best you can. That looks good. Okay, so oops, here we go. This is the one I'm working on. So this one goes on dimensionals. Let's just go ahead and do that now. We'll just add three. Looks like this one goes flat. So let's go ahead and add that right away. Just 
just add a little bit of glue. You can use seal or liquid glue, whatever. That's going to kind of come off the edge there. And then we'll put our big one on, kind of pointing down to the right. Covering up our stem there, maybe. Let's see, how do I want to do that? Like, like that. I want that over just a smidge. Ooh. Yeah. There's a gap there. That's okay, because we're going to cover it with this leaf. So we'll just go ahead and add a little bit of glue on the right side of that. Like so. And then we can add this little cutie copper piece sticking out the bottom there. Tuck it under the big one. It's going to hang off the bottom. And they're just kind of flowing down there, right? So there. Ooh. Sorry, I just got a phone call. Hopefully you're still there. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp the inside and the envelope, and we're about done. So what can we do here? I We could stamp some leaves uh, near the edge here, but I'm not sure if I want to. Maybe. Let's do... Yeah, let's do it. Let's do some right here, and we can see the difference, and you can let me know whether you like it or not. <laughs> and I can let you know whether I like it or not. We're going to, which color did we use here? I don't want to use this color. I want to use copper. So we're just going to wash this one real quick. Mm -hmm. I happen to have a baby wipe here. You can use your chamois. You can use your Stampin' Scrub. This is just available. So I'll just use that. And copper. I probably have to push this one again, don't I? I already have the spoon here, so that's perfect. And make sure that that's not too juicy. That looks good. Okay, so we're going to take this piece here and just kind of, should we do it like, like this? Just barely tipping in maybe. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks kind of cool. What do you think? All right, and then we'll do it on the envelope too, but we'll do it in a different way, kind of coming up from the left side like that other one. There. Okay. So there are all of our cards. I got to mail, or mail. I got to, I should mail these, but I, I need to add the inside of this one in. Okay. Almost done. Let me know which one was your favorite. If you'd like this class, I would love to know. And again, if you would like to get your own set of pre-cut pieces, you can get this for free if you place an order in my store using this host code. Or if you already are a demonstrator or if you just want to play and you already have this stamp set, you can actually order the class completely cut and mailed to you uh, with shipping included for $30. So if you'd rather do that, that is fine. I can send you the payment information for that also. So here is our last card. All right, so I'll get out all of those cards that we just did. Again, let me know which one is your favorite. Got so many. Six different cards this time. Okay, so so many cards. All right, thank you so much for watching, you guys. And I'll put my face back on there for the end. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day and tune in next time. Bye guys.